It's one play, two play. Put controller in and then turn the power button on and say power on! Power on everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls. Just so you all know, a lot of shit happened that we fucking didn't catch. But guess what? We have all the video footage, just not the audio. So, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what the hell happened. So we started out the video game. We started right off from where we left off. We decided to go ahead and deal with... What was the boss we fought? I have to remember. No, no, before that. Uh, damn it. Death, Before that, Death, death incarnate. incarnate. We fought the Death Incarnate guy. This guy, this, the guy you're watching right now, we beat the shit out of him. I stab him. I died a bunch of times. I also fell off cliffs. Anyway, after that, we came to here. We fought a demon after talking about Tony Hawk and opening up about my dad's death and everything. We had a really nice down to earth chat. No, I'm not going to have it again. You have a wonderful time. Um, I, I'll have it again probably eventually because I yeah. just. Whatever. Point is. Um, we beat the, the demon that, that slices. I died, like, a lot. Like, a lot. And then we fought the centipede demon. I chopped off his tail. Realized that the tail is also a beast. It's... Fought that. Killed the tail. Got the ring. Killed the centipede monster. After it killed what's his bucket And now, here we are. We're, we're right here. And I'm sorry that we lost all that footage. It's my fuck up. I don't know how I did it. But I did. But now we're back. And we're playing Dark Souls. Let's go. So welcome back to Dark Souls. I'm alive still. I Everybody's alive. Been taken by the false god. Um, the oh, Wolverine yeah. commander. I'm gonna have to kill him. Who pa gets passed around the table for each player's upkeep, and when you name a creature type. By the way, this lava is ridiculously fucking bright, and they never fixed it. Yes. Even in the remastered, it's still fucking bright as shit. I hate it. <laughs> lost Isolith, everybody. And yes, Vincent is a lost god that gets passed around the table. I'm not. I'm not a false god. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I am the, I am a god. I'm not a false god. You're a false god. I'm not a false god. I'm a real god. I'm a big boy god. I'm, I'm a big god. I'm a god of real. I'm the big god. Your mom's a big god. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're a... Whatever. You want to see some dragons that are dead, but you can still fight? Shh. Er. Right there. Oh, hey, what, what about yeah, that? Yeah, they're, they're dead dragon legs. They just fucking attack you. <laughs> just like we... What the fuck? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. I just see if this is right. It is. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I can open this. Soul of a great hero, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh That's my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My Fuck dad. off. Dude, You're my dad. Me. Oh my god! I am your dad. You're my dad. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Vincent, my dad. No, He's I'm my not. dad. Boogie, I'm woogie, not. woogie. <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't, don't. I'm not. <laughs> I am not that. I am not his dad. I do not contain an ounce of responsibility. Don't throw that on me. <laughs> I will not be fucking responsible for John's well doing. Big boy. Big penis? Big, big boyness. Big boyness. <laughs> big boyness. I won't be responsible for his big boyness. Hey, boogie, boogie, boogie. I had a dance to that in sixth grade. It's the electric slide. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Yeah, I had a dance to that in sixth grade. Did you ever do dances in sixth grade? I was with Ballet West for like fourth grade, or sorry, sixth grade through I think ninth grade. Not what I meant, but that's cool. Like, I meant like at the end of the year where you would have like, like um, yeah, stuff and you would do from, dances from like from like fifth grade, it's like ninth grade. Fifth to ninth. 
like fifth or sixth grade to ninth grade. Well, I did them from first to sixth. I don't know when their program was, <laughs> <laughs> but I remember being in junior high and going, "I'm done with this." <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It started in elementary school, and then I went through to junior high, and I was like, "I'm, I'm okay." I'm over this. I'm over it. Yeah, I'm we not. would we would do it like there would always be this thing um, at the end of the year where you would go. It would be like a carnival or whatever, uh, and you would play games and you would get your face painted and all that stuff. And Sandy Elementary is where I used to go, um, and it was it was great except for the part that like every teacher that you would go there didn't want to fucking be there. <laughs> like they were so done with all the students, they were like, "I'm over this." Yeah. I don't want to be here anymore. Except for some of them. Some of them wouldn't get really into it, but they would be really nice. Yeah. It was it was something else, my dude. I remember there being a little carnival at my school, too. Where we would, like, have teachers be in, like, the dunk dunking booth. Yeah, I had that, I think. throw, like, a ball at the thing and they'd fall into water. And I did that, and it, they didn't fall in the water. It hit the target, but it didn't hit it hard enough. And I'm You'd like, just be like, you lied to I just, me. I just ran up and I punched it. I'm just like, take that! I hit it. What the fuck?! I agree. What the fuck? That was some BS. I'm ready to do fucking seven episodes of this shit, even though I already did fucking four. Oh, I'm fucking sick of it, my dudes. I'm also sick. Of it. I mean, I like Dark Souls, but I don't like losing four uh, episodes. After this commission, I am not doing very many public commissions. That's fair. I, I'm probably just going to do uh, commissions for people that I know. If somebody paid for a video game, would you do them a free commission? What? If I'd be, be getting paid in a video game. Yeah. No. Oh. I, I prefer f regular money. <laughs> I, I prefer cash. Cash or credit. Sex is also acceptable. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're being really quiet right now, and it's kind of yeah. scaring me a little bit. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm watching the game. I'm just, ugh. I, I, I am relaxed. It's a good game. I'm relaxed right now. I'm fucking sweaty. I'm going to put my bandana on. I'm sweating through my butt crack. Everybody does. I'm I don't know why. I'm sweating through my... Sweating vagina. through my crack. My mom's spaghetti. My vagina. Barbecue sauce on my titties. My my boy <laughs> <laughs> Fucking why are you rolling towards her? I am so perplexed. So there it was. Barbecue sauce on my titties. Kate, I'm so upset because when I lock onto her and I go to roll around her, it doesn't happen. I roll towards her. Which is the dumbest shit I've ever experienced. And now I have to go do it again. I think it's because I'm so used to playing Bloodborne. Because Bloodborne has a different dodge, so that might be it. That's probably my fault then. Okay. I do better. I do better. That's my fault, I'm sorry. Vincent? Yeah? Do you love me? Eh? Mm. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, you. I, 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 I don't say I love you to many people. You've said it to me. I'm so yeah. confused. <laughs> on, on, on the mic, you've said it to me. Okay. Why do I gotta say it now? That's fair. I say it when I want to say it. That's fair. You should never force anybody to say I love you, everybody. And that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> She never forced anybody to do anything. It's and that's a fact. Except if they're oppressing. If they're oppressing people who can't fight for themselves, then fuck them up. F fuck those guys. Yeah, I already don't like you. 
see all these evil people that were kicking their ass for being evil. We're forcing them to not be alive anymore. Fuck those guys. <laughs> because they're oppressing. Because they literally no one. are evil and they're oppressing everyone. They're making it an uninhabitable wasteland. For that looks like fun. <laughs> Whee! I'm a demon hunter. I'm sure he's having a good time. Or she's she having is. a blast. She's having a she's having a she's good having old a ball. fashioned blast. This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the fun is gone. Bed of chaos. That's what I call my bed at night. Sounds like a good Death Saturday. Bed, the bed that eats. 1979. I'm so confused why that was released in 1979. I don't know if it was 79, but like I know it was the 70s. I know, that's what confuses me. Deathbed, the bed that eats. What's like, we gotta watch that it? movie now. What's you wanna watch that it? movie? I don't know. I don't know how many horror movies I could watch right now. Maybe eventually. Uh, I just finished watching Green Inferno, and I wanna throw up. Wait, what? Green Inferno. What is that? It's a movie where a bunch of activists go to the rainforest to defend it. And while they're there, their plane breaks down, and they run into a native tribe of cannibals. Ah, oh, that one. Yeah, and it was disgusting. I bet. I, I re partway through the movie, I had a hard time uh, keeping him on lunch. Yeah, uh, I actually heard about an interview with them, and they were like, yeah, we showed it to the, the indigenous tribe that we were filming, and they thought it was a comedy. Uh, yeah. They laughed at it. Yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of morbid. It was, no, not kind of. It was very. I mean, yeah, it had to be. <gasps> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you died. <laughs> like there, there's a specific scene where they put a man on an altar, and while he's still alive, they cut off all of his limbs, gouge <coughs> his eyes out, and then rip off his tongue. And I wanted to throw up. <coughs> That's a bit much. It is. I know that Kelly's watched Green Inferno. It is more than a bit much. <laughs> that that's a movie that's not really horror. It's just gore. It, it is gore. It's gore horror. Mm. It's body. It's body horror. Okay, so it's what Saw tries to be. I like Saw. I like Final Destination. I can watch those and not care. Well, I mean, so the first like, Saw is really good. Like. I like after, that one. After, yeah, the first movie of both those series, they kind of just go into just like, here's fan service. Yeah. Enjoy the fan service. Enjoy the but creative it's not, deaths. It's not gross, except for like maybe one death in Final Destination where an engine like fan <coughs> just goes blah, 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 on some dude's head. And I'm like, mm, eh, no, that's gross. That's too much. That, see, that feels too real. Yeah. And that's the feeling I get from Green Inferno is like this feels way too real for me to be enjoying this at all. This yeah, is gross. I get that. Like they, oh, they're good at effects. Whoever was working on there, that I'm pretty sure they. Yeah, were they got like practical. an Emmy for it, didn't they? I don't know, but it was disgusting. <laughs> Emmy is for. For pra like you could tell their practical effects, and they're amazing. Is practical Emmy effects. for practical effects, or is that for music? I don't know. But I meant an Oscar. I an Oscar? Yeah, maybe. Something like that. An Academy Award? An Academy Award of sorts, yeah. I think they, they won an Academy Award of sorts. Let me look The good news up. is with this boss, because of how difficult it is, they save the progress that you've made. Uh, what kind of made me mad about that movie? I watched the movie. It's good. Or, it's good, I hate it. Um, but, Thanks, like, at the I end of the movie, it has a cheap cop-out. You know how horror movies do, where you're like, okay. You can just tell me I'm not going to see it. Okay. Spoiler alert to, for everybody, even though this movie's been out for a while, it's on Netflix. It's been Watch out for it like if eight you years, want to. Hasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, what happens is all the people end up pretty much dying. And this one dude who was the main environmentalist that got everybody to go to the rainforest, he um, basically said, so what we did was a PR stunt. Everyone's still going to tear down this forest. We have a few days till they come to uh, save us. And he's the last man who's in the cage. 
and the girl leaves him there. So he's assumed dead um, by the end of the film. Credits start rolling, and then it goes, Hey, I'm that guy's sister. I saw a satellite cam, and it looks like my brother. We need to talk. I'm like, you ruined it. He's like, you didn't need that. You put I mean, that I in think there. They were going and for a sequel. That's a cheap cop out. Yeah, like going for a sequel. You know, unfriended. Yeah. And at the end of that, it's just like a very cheap jump scare. It's basically that. That's oh, what it I've felt never like. seen it. I just know what you're talking about. Yeah. Unfriended. Yeah, I avoided it because I was like, that looks stupid. It was stupid. You could tell that um, it, all the shots were filmed on different days, and only in one like go for each person. Because um, you'll just notice things in the background changing. Like, the curtain will be open. It'll be closed. Be open again. It'll be closed. person's shirt was down a little too much. Now it's back up. Yeah. I mean, if you were going to film it, you might as well just screen record and then just do it all together. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you! Are you serious? <laughs> this boss is just That was the stupidest yeah. death. <laughs> This boss has always kind of been BS. It's a lot of these bosses towards the end that are a lot of dickery. Hickory dickery bullshit. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, that that was my main peeve with uh, Green Inferno. Is at the end having one of those cheap cop-out like things at the very end. Yeah. And this girl, she went through this whole movie seeing her friends, or at least these people, die, get eaten, cannibalized. Like, their bones broken, chopped up, whatever. Um, and at the end, she still goes, No, the tribe never was a cannibal. Never never cannibalized anybody. Tribe is fine. Don't don't bother them. I would have been like, Fuck those guys. So wait, all the people are alive, apparently? No, the people all still died who were part of the main, like, cast. But the tribe, um, they're still alive. Or whatever. And the girl uh, still at the end went, Yeah, just keep that tribe there. They're fine. They're not cannibals. They're all good people. I'm like, I would have said fuck that and had that tribe tear torn apart. That's conflicting. Like, I don't know, man. Once, once you see people eating your friends and they like die in front of your face, I would have, I would not defend that tribe. Neither would I. There's that tribe that in real life uh, lives on this island that is inhabited oh, yeah, by only them. outside of India? Yeah. Yeah. And they just don't want to be talked to. I think that's cool. Yeah, so do I. And it's um, not like, uh, we don't want to be talked to. It's a, they think we're fucking terrifying. Ah! I tried. Again? I tried. <laughs> oh, that's the way the I gotta go, is, though! The thing is, you could have gotten up and... Your animation was still pull pushing you back. Mm. <laughs> forced you. To I think I have to wait for her to <laughs> swing her hand and then I go. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's not super upsetting that it's been like fucking ten minutes of bullshit. So there was only one instance I think that was with that tribe yeah. where people have been able to like give them a bunch of enjoy coconuts. the extra long episode. To give them a bunch of like coconuts and then they were like, "All right, you guys are cool." And then after that, they're like, now you're not anymore. It, like, uh, I think the island is owned by India. And now it's illegal to send people there mm -hmm. anymore. Like, yeah, I, I think that. a few years back, a Mormon kid went there to try and convert people. And he got killed instantly. He got killed before he even landed. Like, yeah. And people are like, we need his body back. And India went, no, sorry. You get it. Try your luck. I think there's a, su a sunken ship that's on the island also mm -hmm. that uh, they notice people have taken metal from and made knives out of. And I'm like, that's neat. From like an anthropology uh, standpoint, that's pretty cool to see. Like yeah. people go, I can use that knife now. That's pretty smart. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty insane. I would like... I'm never going to get to see this, but I would like to see their um, their civilization, to see what gods they worship, to see if anything at all... Yeah. 
It would just it would just be interesting. Let them move? swing first. Okay. There it is. There's my opening. Go 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 go. <laughs> Noise. There you go. The bed that eats. The bed of chaos. Huh. Oh no, that's huh. my hand. Don't do it like that. That's you, my chaos hand. You have to do it like this, and then it opens up the middle. Like that. We could probably order some pizza. I'd be down with that. Get some Domino's. Uh, does it have Papa to be Mo Domino's? Papa John's. Let's think of Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut? Yeah, I love Pizza Hut. That's fine. The pizza Hut's my jam, dude. Domino's is one of those... Dude, when I was a kid, when we got Pizza Hut, I was like, Oh, fuck, we eating tonight? <laughs> See, and I'm it, dead. Is that the one that has a hamburger pizza? No, that's Papa Jones. Okay. Or Papa Murphy's, one of the two. One of the Papas. Probably both. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they owned by the same guy? No. Weren't they, I mean? No. I don't know. Aren't they owned by the same company? John is dead now. You know what my favorite thing? Is, what? uh... How many monopolies exist in this current day-to-day -day society <laughs> that weren't here when I was in high school? That's the funniest shit. You, you mean, wanna, you mean I, like Monopoly Halo, Monopoly Zelda? Or are you talking about empires monopolized by singular people? That one. Okay. Like, it's amazing. Like, when I was in high school, there was none. And then Amazon... The guy who runs Amazon owns Amazon and literally almost all of the fucking grocery stores. Yeah. And then he also owns... Um, and then, and then you have the guy who owns... Uh, oh, yeah, he owns he owns Twitch, too. Yeah, Jeff Bezos. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck him. That guy can go trip on a rock. I mean, I use some of his products, but I can still be upset about him. That man can go trip on a rock and explode, and I'd be okay. And then uh, you have... Disney owns... Disney's the only Monopoly I'm okay with, because they don't fucking flaunt mm. it, and they're not dicks about it, but I still wish mm. they weren't a Monopoly. Like, out of all the Monopolies, I'm not happy about any of them. I'm... But uh, let me let me finish first. So out of all the Monopolies, I'm not happy about them. But out of all of them, they're the only ones not being dicks about it. They're trying to fly under the radar. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know, because they fuck up copyright. They've cut, fucked that's up true. copyright before, and that's flaunting their own that's monopolies. True. That that's purposely fucking shit up so they can monopolize a character. Yes, you're right. That that's why uh, it's gonna take four years for Mickey to be in the public domain again. Oh, did they get him? They they got it done. Uh, that's just how like that's when it's gonna be open open terrain. I thought it was 2021. Uh, let me see again. Maybe it is 2021. Uh, let's see. Mickey Mouse, not mode. Public. You ready to see what the bed of chaos really looks like? Uh, there it is. That's the bed of chaos? Yep. <laughs> Ow! That's the queen of Isolith. Oh, we did it. All right, power off, everybody. Uh, yeah, 2024, January 1st. Bummer. Yep, four more years. One, another new president until Mickey Mouse is public domain again.